So now let's understand the GPIO output mode with open drain output configuration. As you know, when the GPIO is in output mode, it looks something like this. Open drain output configuration is nothing but this top PMOS transistor is deactivated. It is simply not present. So what you left with is just a single NMOS transistor. When the transistor is switched on, the pin is pulled to ground. And when this transistor is off, the drain of the transistor will be floating or open. That's the reason it is called open drain. So as a result, open drain output configuration can only pull down the pin, but it lacks pulling up capability. That means it has two states either ground or float, which is absolutely useless. The open drain output is useless until you provide the pull up capability by introducing a pull up resistor by either activating an internal pull up or external pull up resistor. So without the pull up resistor applied to open drain, this mode is completely useless. So that leads to our next discussion that is open drain with pull up resistor. Here you can see it's actually an open drain pin with internal pull up activated. Similarly, this figure shows an open drain output with external pull up connected. So what I want to convey from this discussion is that to make use of open drain in a real world application, it has to be used along with either internal pull up or external pull up resistor. These days, almost all MCU support internal pull up resistors for every GPIO pin. So you just need to use the GPIO configuration resistor to activate or deactivate them. If your MCU doesn't support internal pull up, which is most unlikely for modern MCUs, then you may think of adding an external pull up resistor by your hand. Now let's see some of the practical usage of open drain mode. Let's see how to drive an LED from a GPIO which is in open drain output mode. Here you have a GPIO pin with open drain configuration. In order to drive an LED, first activate the internal pull up resistor, then connect the LED to the pin. So when you want to turn on the LED, you write one to its input, which is inverted to zero and this transistor will be turned off. When this transistor is turned off, LED will be driven to VCC by this internal pull up resistor. So it will turn on the LED. On the other hand, if you want to turn off the LED, you write zero to this input. As a result, this transistor will be on, which actually drives your LED to the ground. As a result, LED will be turned off. Remember here that the value of the internal pull up resistor is fixed. The internal pull up resistor will be in the range of 10 kilo ohms to 50 kilo ohms, which is reasonably sufficient for most of the applications. To know what is the value of internal pull up resistor, please go through the data sheet of your MCO. So here we have another circuit which is very similar to the first one. The only difference is instead of using the internal pull up resistor, we have used an external one along with the LED. Alright, this is how you drive a LED when your GPIO pin is in output mode with open drain configuration. Let's see another practical use of an open drain which you might have used already either knowingly or unknowingly whenever you used a I2C bus. The serial data pin which we call SDA and serial clock pin which we call SCL of I2C peripheral in a microcontroller are basically in open drain configuration. 
In order to use the bus properly, you have to provide pull-up resistor for each pin either internally or externally. In this case, you can see we have used an external pull-up resistor. You can also simply activate the internal pull-up resistor inside the MCU for these two pins and make your life easier instead of adding uh, external pull-up resistor by your hand. The correct value of pull-up resistors for the I2C bus depends on the total capacitance on the bus and the frequency at which the bus works. You may explore more about how to find out the exact value of pull-up resistors by taking into consideration of uh, I2C bus speed, capacitance, etc. But generally, resistor value in the range of 4.7 kilo ohms to 10 kilo ohms works.